Hello everyone, in this video I will show you a simple script that will allow us to add a toggling platforms to our 2D game. Let's quickly build up our scene to see how it can be done. First I add a brick that will be stationary. Position it somewhere about here. Duplicate it pressing Ctrl plus D keys and place this second one brick at the opposite side of the screen. Select both of the bricks and add a box collider 2D to them so character can walk on them. Now let's add a platforms. Bring one to the scene, scale it down a bit, position it about here. Rename it as platform 1, duplicate it a couple of times and rename those clones as platform 2 and platform 3. Position them like so. Select all of the platforms and add a box collider 2D to them. Next let's add a character which is our old friend Cat. Bring it to the scene. Add rigid body to D, set gravity scale to 3, collision detection to continuous and freeze zero rotation. Add a circle collider to D, so Cat could walk on the platforms and the bricks with help of this simple script. Add this script to Cat and now it can walk and jump. Now let's create new empty game object and rename it as platform manager. This game object will control our platforms using platform manager script. Let's take a look at it. First we have an array of platforms, which we can assign an inspector. Then here is number of platforms variable, toggle time and cycle time variables. Cycle time can be set in inspector as well. In start method we get number of platforms from the length of the platforms array. Then we need to set a toggle time variable in the way so next platform will not appear until the previous one is active. If we have only one platform, then toggle time is set to 1 and else it's set as number of platforms minus 1. Then start managing platforms coroutine is started. In this coroutine, we go through the platforms array and start manage platform coroutine for each of the platform in this array with cycle time delay, so each platform will have its own life cycle. Manage platform coroutine, set each platform to active and inactive state depending on cycle time and toggle time values. So playing with these values, you can achieve any desirable toggling behavior of any amount of platforms. Add this script to platform manager. Select Platform Manager, lock its inspector window so it will not switch to another game object's properties. Select our three platforms and drag and drop them into Platforms Array section of Platform Manager script. Unlock inspector window. Select our platforms and disable them. They will be controlled by Platform Manager. Let's set cycle time from 2 to 1 so platforms will toggle faster. Now we can hit play and see how it works. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching, see you next time.